Well, let's get this started, guys. How are you doing? I'm Thomas Live, and hope you guys are doing awesome. Now, I will be announcing the giveaway in this video. I told you guys that I was going to announce it on Thomas Live Entertainment or Thomas Live News, but I'm going to do it right now. By the way, make sure you guys go subscribe to that channel for other giveaways. Later in this video, we will do the giveaway. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video, man. Show some freaking support for giveaways, and let's get this started. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I'm giving away two copies of Star Wars Battlefront, one on the PlayStation 4, and another on the Xbox One. I know you guys are excited for that. And for the winners, you will get a message on YouTube from Dom is Live GTA 5. So there's an article here that has been circulating around the internet, and it talks about GTA 6 being the first 300 million game title and that's from development and marketing now there hasn't been one single game that has went over the 300 million mark but there has been some movies that has went over that mark and we're going to take a look at this list now the only movies to go over this 300 million mark will be the pirates of the caribbean series the first one would be on a stranger tides and the second one would be at world's end so those are the only movies to go over the 300 million mark gt5 was pretty close to going over that 300 million mark but it did not exceed it now i'm going to show you guys a top five production list in games now number five is going to be destiny and it says here that it cost a total of 140 million dollars uh, for marketing and development Star Wars The Old Republic was an awesome game that I played back in the day. Great game. It costs over 200 million. Final Fantasy costs 45 million in development and 100 million in marketing, totaling 145 million dollars. Grand Theft Auto 5, of course, development was 137 million dollars. The marketing for Grand Theft Auto 5 was 128 million. And the total cost ran 265 million dollars pretty close to the 300 million mark call of duty modern warfare 2 which is definitely one of my favorite cards if not my favorite development was 50 million dollars the marketing was 200 million dollars the total cost ran 250 million dollars for that game and this article is stating that GTA 6 could take $300 million just to develop. And if so, that would be awesome because that's the price that it took to make two of the top movies to ever be created. So that's insane, guys. Now, I get this question a lot. A lot of people ask me, Dom, when do you think GTA 6 is going to be released? When do I think it's going to be released? Well, it's going to be 2016 very soon. I do believe that GTA 6 will most likely be released in 2018. I don't see it happening anytime soon. I see Rockstar releasing another game, then right after that, releasing GTA 6. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I think that GTA 6 is a long time away. Think about it this way, guys. Guys, we have a bunch of DLC that Rockstar is going to be releasing very soon. I mean, I would think they're going to release Casino. Also, we're going to have single player DLC being released. There's so many other things that Rockstar is going to be doing over the next year. And I'm happy with GTA 5 right now, but I know GTA 6 is going to blow us all out of the water. And once again, it's going to become one of the best games ever created. So this is Dumbass Live. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The winner of the giveaway is going to be Damien Day from the PlayStation 4. And the winner on the Xbox One is going to be Dark Ruler 16. Congratulations. I hope you guys enjoy these games. You should see some codes in your inbox very soon from Dom is Live GTA 5. Have a great day, guys. I love you all. Be sure to drop a like on this video for more giveaways as well 